own home. Also at 9, street safety concerns. A Southland community demanding change after a little boy is killed while crossing the street with his father. Why neighbors say the area isn't safe. And will San Bernardino County become the 51st state? That's the long shot bid by one Inland Empire developer. I'm Tom Wade. I'll explain coming up. And a massive vaccination effort against monkeypox in L.A. County. While health officials are ramping up efforts to get shots to people who want one. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Juan Fernandez. A heart-wrenching vigil tonight to honor a 7-year-old boy hit and killed by a pickup truck while walking with his dad. A police say the driver plowed into them even though they were in a marked crosswalk mm -hmm. and had the right of way. The accident happened at East 23rd and Lakewood Boulevard. And tonight, the boy's family is calling for safety changes to the intersection. KKL 9's Leslie Marine is in Long Beach now where she spoke with his devastated parents. Leslie? And this was just completely heartbreaking to hear Pat and Juan. In fact, this is the intersection behind me. You can see it's rather large. Neighbors in the family tell me they were just going to a park across the street. A lot of kids do that, but they didn't make it. Instead tonight, take a look over here. This is where family continues to gather for a vigil to remember little Gabriel. I love you a lot, Mommy. Bye. It's sweet videos like that and silly photos like this one that parents Don and Francisco Garate now share of their seven-year-old son, Gabriel. He did not deserve this. He was, he was such a great kid. The parents held each other as they visited the spot where Tuesday night little Gabriel was run over. It happened while crossing this busy intersection at Lakewood Boulevard and 23rd Street around 5 p.m. Gabriel was with his dad, headed to play baseball. He was even pushing the button. He was like, wait till it turns green. It turns green. We start walking. The guy just guns it, makes a left on a green, ignores everybody else, runs over my son. Investigators say Gabriel and his dad were in a crosswalk and had the right of way. The pickup driver, 57 year old James Barnes, was arrested. Police say he didn't yield at the light before turning into that little boy. He wasn't paying attention, he didn't stop. People just gun it through here all the time. As family gathered at a vigil Wednesday night to remember Gabriel, neighbors stopped by as well. They want something done about this intersection that countless children walk across every day. They're carrying their soccer balls, their basketballs as they cross the street. Yeah, cars just blow by, especially this time of day. As you can see, it's, it's kind of like the rush hour of people getting back home. With tears in her eyes, Gabriel's mom just had this message for drivers. Pay attention because you can take a life. You can take an innocent life. Back out here live, you can see the Van Lee gathered together, hugging each other for this vigil. They are now raising money for funeral costs and to simply take some time off work to help deal with this situation they're now going through. As for that driver, police say uh, they don't believe alcohol or drugs were involved in this, but that driver is facing vehicular manslaughter charges. Reporting live, Leslie Marine, KCAL 9 News. Mm, so sad. All right, Leslie, thank you. Have you seen this crazy chat?